For part B, we're going to do something similar, but now for two life cycles. So we have part B, annual worth for two life cycles. Let me draw the diagram for three years. I mean for six years, sorry. We need two cycles of three. It's gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six years. Okay, so if we start with the first cycle, we have our P going down. Then we have one, two, three for our annual operating cost. Okay, that's cycle number one. And then let's start with the second cycle. Remember, right where you finished your first cycle, that's when you start the second one. We need another 20,000 going down and we just continue with our annual operating cost. So this right here will be cycle number two. Okay, so let's start uh, putting our equation together. Annual worth will be equal to the minus 8,000 which is already in A, so we do not need to worry about that. Then let's distribute this one amongst all six years. So it's kind of as if we are dividing the P by six, but we cannot just do 20,000 divided by six because we have interest accrued. So that's why we need to use the factor. So it's gonna be minus 20,000, find a given P, 22% and don't forget that here we want to distribute it equally among six years. Now this one right here we didn't put a P because it's going to be handled differently. It is right in the middle of your diagram so we cannot just go ahead and convert it directly to A. It's a shifted series and let me draw a smaller version of the diagram to illustrate the steps to follow. We have year 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so we have that arrow right here. We already took care of the rest, so this is the only one left. So the first thing that we need to do is well, there's different ways to solve this, but let me show you one. We want to move it first to year zero. So this arrow is going to go over here. We're going to find the equivalent p-value of the 20,000. So these are going to be an f, and we want to find p. So step number one, we're going to be using the find p give an F and we're gonna have an N of three years because it is three years away from it. So let's uh, include this first step into our equation. So we have the minus 20,000 find P give an F at 22% for N3. Whichever value you find Okay, it's going to be this arrow right here. And once you have it there, it's going to become a P, just like this one. And then the next step is to distribute it. So now step number two, we're going to distribute it equally among the six years. Okay, so this would be step number two. We're going to be using the find a given p factor, and now our n is going to be 6 years. 
So you do not need to solve this one and then do step number two. Okay, you can just add it here, a second factor to it. So it's going to be find a given p, 22% and 6. Because it's as if you're already solving this one. This is the arrow. And then you multiply it times the second factor. So we have here step 1 and step 2 for your reference to this diagram. And if we solve for all of this, so plug in these two factors, multiply this times this times this, and then the rest, you should get, guess what? Minus 17,793 dollars per year. Which is exactly the same as the result from part A. So why is that? Because we just keep adding the same amount of years. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have a pizza with eight slices and you have eight persons. So how many slices um, is each individual person getting one if we buy a second pizza with another eight slices and we invite another eight people to join well we have a total of 16 slices and 16 people so same thing they end up getting one slice per person this is the case here so this is why you do not need LCM because if you were to repeat the cycles if we added a third cycle and we distribute everything equally uh, among all three cycles, then we would still get the minus $17,793 per year.